Hello, it's Jamie Fenton. Today I'm going to show you how to install Downrush on a um, FlashAir SD card. And I've already got things sort of started in the setup. Um, over here, this thing no name is the FlashAir card, essentially as it comes out of the box. And then you, I've got it opened up and you can see it has two directories in it. One's called DCIM and the other one, which is grayed out, is called SD underbar WLAN. Now the SD underbar WLAN directory is special and it's hidden and unfortunately to install Downrush we have to unhide it. <laughs> and anyway, we'll do that next. Here we have the distribution directory that Downrush comes in. It's got two folders in them. One is called DR for Downrush and the other one is going to be copied over the existing SD WLAN directory. Now, so I can actually do that, I have to unhide that directory. So what I do is I, I'm gonna to go to a hidden off-screen buffer where I've already got my command that I'm gonna enter. So I just paste it in. And you see what I did is I changed the flags for volume slash no name slash SWLAN to be not hidden anymore. And if we actually go do back and forth here, you'll see that instead of being gray, it was it is now black and you can actually look inside and you can see there's a config and a list.htm file. Now I'm going to go back up to this level. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to take the dr directory and the sdwlan directory and drop them on top. And it's going to ask me if I want to uh, replace or do something else. So I'm going to say replace. And here we go. So we now have Downrush and SDW LAN um, installed. Now, what you probably want to do is rehide them because these are critical files you do not want to accidentally delete. So I'll go back here and edit my line and go boof. And if we come back here and essentially cause a refresh, because unfortunately this thing's a little weird. It doesn't necessarily always react right away to the gray out, but you can see it's now I went and jiddled it enough so that it refreshed itself and you can see that SD underbar WLAN is no longer uh, there. <laughs> there's no there's no longer um, easily modified, I guess is the way to put it. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another folder where I kept all the parts that I want to um, here we go. That I want to have on my uh, card, which is my existing uh, kits, songs, samples, and so forth. So I'll just get those four things, copy them all, drop them all onto the um, SD card, and you know wait a little bit while it goes grind, grind, grind. <laughs> so. Um, it's actually possible to do this using Downrush, but it takes about 10 minutes, so it's much easier just to do it while it's plugged in. So anyway, so here I've got uh, everything on my card. Now if I go take the card out, and you have to believe me here because I don't have a camera set up on it, but I'm going to go take it over to my Deluge and plug it in. Yeah, you can hear it's there. <laughs> anyway, um, that wasn't intended. Um, so what we'll do is uh, close some of these things down. And now we'll go fire up a web browser like this. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to go up here and see if we can find the Flash Air device that we just made, which is up here. You can see it. And I'm going to go select it. And it wants the password. And the password it defaults to being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I suppose I can even show it to prove that I'm not kidding. Here we go. And then you do that. And then now if we come back here, give it a moment, you'll find that my Wi-Fi device is now that Flash Air card. So then I come over here and I type Flash Air slash, and that'll that then open it up. And you can see here's all my files, um, including the new ones I've added. And now I can go in, and sometimes it takes a little while to get started, but I can then go in and work with Downrush. So um, go give it a try. <laughs>